Hello, my name is Yan Wei. I'm presenting temporal logic imitation, learning plan satisfies emotion policies from demonstrations. This is joint work with Nadia Figueroa, Shen Li, Anke Sha, and Julie Sha. In this conference, we think a lot of work on generalization to different tasks or objects. Here, we study generalization of imitation to out of distribution states. Consider the task of scooping. Given a demonstration, we want to learn reactive motion policies, such that given a perturbation, the system is able to react at a motion level. However, if the perturbation is too large and causes task level failure, such as dropping all the marbles, the system is not able to replan. Consequently, the motion imitation is successful, but the task is failed. This highlights the fundamental challenge of applying motion imitation to replay tasks with temporal and spatial constraints given perturbations. These methods are, at best, ensuring goal reachability or recovering at a motion level to stay close to the dem demonstration. However, this does not guarantee task success. A continuous motion will succeed in a task only if it traces out a discrete plan of mode changes implicit in the demonstration, for example, from reaching mode to scooping mode to transporting mode. The scooping mode has a mode boundary that ensures contact during scooping, and the transporting mode has a mode boundary that ensures the spoon is level during transportation. Anything else can be in the reaching mode. A trajectory is successful even and only if it goes through the mode sequence. And no matter how different it is from the original demonstration after perturbation. Applying this view, it's easy to see why reactive motion policies fail at the task, because the recovery introduces invalid mode transitions directly from reaching mode to transporting mode, as shown by the red cross. In contrast, Imitating with respect to a discrete plan allows replanning at a task level so that only valid mode transitions are carried out. The knowledge to replan on the fly when detecting an unexpected mode transition comes from a linear temporal logic formula we query from the humans. Let's now formally introduce the problem temporal logic imitation. Given sensors that detect modes, successful demonstrations of reaching a goal, and temporal logic formula that specify valid mode transitions. We want to be able to learn continuous policies that simulate any discrete plan given by the LTL formula under arbitrary perturbations. One naive solution is to learn motion policies for each individual mode and sequence them through LTL. However, in imitation, we don't know the mode boundary and consequently, an out-of-distribution states can lead to mode exit at some later time. Even if LTL is able to recover, the system might re-enter the mode at the same location that causes the same mistake. Consequently, the system is stuck at a task level in a loop. This shows not every discrete plan is realizable by motion policies generically learned from data. So what kind of properties do these motion policies need to satisfy? It turns out goal reachability and mode invariance. What is goal reachability? Let's see this toy example, where we want to learn from the two demonstrations in thick line to reach the goal in orange. If we learn behavior cloning policy and plot the policy rollouts in streamlines, we see all the blue trajectories succeeding in reaching the goal, whereas the red trajectories they never reach the goal because they get stuck in the spurious attractors as they are starting from out of distribution states. If we learn dynamical system from the same data, we ensure all of the trajectory reach the goal. However, the red trajectory first leave the region before coming back. And so they fail the task. Therefore, we need to also impose mode invariance, which is the property of asking all of the trajectories to stay inside the mode that they're starting in. How do we do that? We first need to estimate the unknown boundaries. Whenever the system makes a mode exit unexpectedly, we record that failure and then find a cutting plane that separates the failure from all the successful in-mode states. 
As we have more and more failures, we get better and better boundary estimations. We treat these cutting planes as collision objects, which can then trap the flows inside. We call this a modulation strategy. Applying it to dynamical system, we're able to ensure goal reachability and mode invariance. Applying modulation to behavior cloning, we can only ensure mode invariance. This shows motion policies can be classified into four categories, depending on whether they have invariance or reachability. We show only when a motion policy has both invariance and reachability can it be proven to realize any high level discrete plan. If we see, apply dynamical system without modulation scooping task and perturb the system to an out of distribution state, it will lead to future uh, mode exit of dropping order marbles. LTL is able to help recover from that. However, without modulation, if you apply the same uh, perturbation, it's going to lead to the same mistake. With modulation, after the system experienced the first failure, it's going to use that to update the low-level policy so that the same perturbation will no longer lead to the same mistake. Let's now see how our system generalized to perturbations, arbitrary perturbations performed by unbiased humans. Let's focus on this one. The system is able to replan using LTL and imitating a discrete plan ensures the system does not go to transporting mode unless the scooping mode has been properly done. With this, we are able to show all of our ex uh, experiments succeed eventually. There is no cherry picking. This further corroborates our theoretical guarantee proved in the paper. Interesting patterns emerge. One might expect most of the perturbations are adversarial, but actually there are also cooperative perturbations where the humans are trying to help the system reach its goal. In this case, having a compliance dynamical system policy ensures smooth human-robot interaction. The contributions of this work is first, we introduce this novel problem, temporal logic imitation that guarantees task success given arbitrary perturbations. Second, we show motion policies need both reachability and invariance properties in order to realize any discrete plan. And lastly, our modulation strategy ensures the invariance of reactive policies. We have more examples uh, showing the reactivity of our systems in different contexts, and we welcome you to check them out on the website.